Oh, guys, isn't that the cutest? Look at her. She's had her letter to go to Hogwarts. Look at you. Yeah, you bought your letter. I read your letter to get to Hogwarts. Good morning and welcome back to my channel. How are you all today? I hope you're all doing well. So today is Monday the 22nd of October. And we have got no plans for today. If we as my, um, as you most really would have seen, I would have been most really ready to start the clip. I decided to put that Harry Potter costume on, uh, well it's not a costume, but that Harry Potter suit on Esme today. And she looks absolutely gorgeous in it. But <laughs> Matt's not very happy because he thought it was for Halloween, but like I said, it's, she, she, it ain't just for Halloween. But she looks she looks really cute in it. Um, Matt's currently vacuuming up. Esme's playing on the floor. I've just literally got to go and do her some breakfast in a minute. And then just get myself some breakfast. Esme's a bit scared of the Uber now, I don't know why. She never used to be, she actually just left the like the Uber noise. Um I did do no vlog yesterday because I decided like Sunday's only keep free because obviously I didn't really do nothing on Sunday. Um, hence why there would be no vlog tonight. So I'm just gonna do the six days rather than the seven days. <laughs> I'm gonna go and grab myself a coffee. I'm gonna go and do Esme's breakfast. I'm gonna go and do my own breakfast. Sorry if you can't hear me with a vacuum. If you can't, if not, I'll just refilm this cart and then um, we'll see where the day takes us. I already showed it, guys, but look how cute she looks in that. She looks so cute in it. All I need to get her is a little witch's hat for actually um, her Halloween party on Wednesday. Um, but I'm not gonna bother because I'm just gonna keep that on. Um, but I reckon she looks so cute. Yeah. And like I said, it ain't just for Halloween to wear it anytime, isn't she? And I, I, like, you don't really see a lot of girl stuff for Harry Potter. You see like a lot for little boys, but not look, like lot, a lot for, not a lot for girls. And when Mason seen it, because obviously like, I, I, she did have obviously Halloween costume, and Matt was like, "What's the point of wasting money? Like getting her another one." But it, to me, it's not wasting money because she can wear it other than Halloween. And Mason seen it, he's like, "Ma, get her it." So Mason picked it out for her. So I'm glad that we did get her it. They did have quite a few other little cute cute ones down there but like there was like witches and <coughs> things which she could have only wore on Halloween and then she should have only wore it like once so that would have been a complete waste of money. The dress that the Halloween dress she got in the bedroom I didn't buy it that given to me so <coughs> I might still let her wear that actually on Halloween night just with a white vest because obviously she's not going to go Halloween in because she's too young and just put like ordinary pair of tights on her just like so when like the little kids knock on the door like she's dressed up. I'm not sure. Esme. <laughs> she's trying to bite me. Es Esme. She pardon me, she's definitely got her little teeth coming through. I know. She's a lot up here today. She, even though she woke up at three o'clock this morning. She settled back down and she was up again at eight o'clock. Uh, she settled back down about I think it was about ten, ten past five. Um, she only woke up, like, first time she actually woke, like, woke up and wanted a bottle, and I think that's why she woke up, because she didn't, um, she had a bottle before she went to bed last night, but she only drank two ounces out of it, so I think that's what, she, and then she, she, she had a pill as well, so obviously it woke her up, so I obviously fed her and changed her, and then the light obviously woke her up a little bit, that's why she didn't get back to sleep today, <coughs> straight away, but I don't mind, we don't mind, do we? No. <laughs> She ain't long had her breakfast. That's what's around her chops. She had porridge with a banana. You did, you know. But I don't know what to do today. My friend wants me to go to town, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. <coughs> She's just happy yamming on my fingers. It's a good job we didn't go out, guys, because last week um, when Elsa came out to do my pregnancy check, she did Esme check, but she didn't weigh Esme because I was meant to get her away Wednesday. But because obviously I went and picked my glasses up, I gave her a call so I couldn't get her weighed. And then she said, I totally forgot she was due right today. Um, she gave me a text around about quarter to ten to say that she was on her way. And um, it's my fault I didn't write it down, but um, so she came out and gave Esme a wet, like weighed her. And um, Esme's £15.20 now, I think. Oi. She's um, just woken up for a nap. Um, she also did another progress um because esme's eight months now so she i think is like or night they meant to do it nine months but she quickly did like a little check on esme and she's come back out on the 27th to do it properly um and then i said i haven't got to see her then until the baby's born halfway 
but she's really she's really pleased with Esme, because Esme like with what Esme's doing at her age, so she's really pleased with that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And she also prescribed Esme some cream for her bum because obviously I mentioned she's had a sore bum, and um, she thinks it's fresh, so she's prescribed me some cream for that. Um, Matt's gone down to get the prescription now as we speak, so hopefully once that gets put on her bum, obviously it'll clear it up a little bit because it can't be nice to have like we do, I let her sort of um oh drop the camera I let her have as much nappy time off like nappy off time as possible but obviously at her age now is like quite difficult because if she peed on the floor or pooed on the floor she would more than likely end up playing with it um she just told me not to use anything in her bath either so you know bubbles or anything just so it clears up because that could uh, irritate her or agitate it I can't say the word um Esme's about to have some snacks in a minute. I'm going to let her wake up properly first. And I'm going to have a snack. I'm going to be naughty today. I'm having a lion bar with a cup of coffee. And Esme's going to have um, some cheesy puffs. They're not what's it. They're the, by Ella's Kitchens. They're cheesy puff beans. She's going to have some of them. And then I don't know what we're going to do today. But I need to go and sort my my washing's on. We can move to my washing machine actually. But I need to go and sort out my washing. I need to put, obviously the washing that's been, as you can see, it's all hanged over my doors. I need to take that down and put it away because it's all dry. And then I need to sort out Esme's pile of clothing because she's still got quite summery clothes out. Well, not, they're not summery clothes. But to me, I wouldn't let her wear them because the weather, like the temperature is changing now. So to me, they're like too cold for her to wear. So I need to put them away. I need to go and mop my floors today because I, I didn't do my deep clean yesterday like I was meant to. Um, so yeah, so I did you know, quite a busy time doing that. I need to top my flora bottle up because I'm running empty in my spray bottle. Anyway, I need to wipe my sofa down. Um, I'm doing that once a week with the lever cleaner now. And I'm finding my sofa keeps looking. looking. Is that right? It keeps my sofa looking new. Other than that, like I said, I'm not doing anything. So I'm going to go and sort Esme snacks out. Let her have a play on the floor. And then it'll be dinner time for her. Oh, no. Well, it's actually coming up to dinner time now. It's actually quarter to 12. But she had, because she was up at 3 o'clock, half past 3 this morning. She obviously went down for a nap a little bit longer than what she normally do. So I'm not sure whether just give her snacks or just give her a sandwich for dinner or give her a sandwich for dinner I might do her a tuna sandwich and then let her have her snacks with her within her dinner if you get what I mean so I'm gonna go and sort that out and I shall speak to you after lunch and then better just wants to escape from reality for a little bit and plus my back's are in Esme's in the front room Matt <laughs> I'm bored there's nothing to do literally nothing so that's what depends why I'm lending sorry I just covered the lens on the camera oh and again I need to get up and do some. I need to go get some motivation. I have got pillowcase on there, but I just took it off. Hang on, I can see it. If I pulled a pillow up, it just went away. I'm bunching my pillow up. <coughs> I pulled the pillow out. But I need to find some motivation from somewhere. I've literally got none. I'm just calling this the bit, the pranksy. I can't think what's called. But like when you get to so far gone in pranksy, you just lose all sort of interest in doing anything. Well, I'm plus tired on 29 weeks. I've only got nine weeks to go. Which oh, it's dragging now. I just can't wait for it to be here now, to be honest with you. I need to go and get a couple, a couple of bits for the baby still though. I'm not even thought about getting a, like looking at double pumps yet. I don't really want to get a double pump to be honest with you, but I know I've got two because Esme won't even be one. I don't know, it's got too much. And it's like right on top of Christmas as well. So what I'll mostly do is just get a baby swing for now and then carry the baby in that as long as the weather didn't turn bad and cold. And just use obviously Esme in her pram. But we're looking about we're thinking of getting her um Esme a trike for Christmas, like the one with oh I'm actually screenshot a picture off the internet and insert it in this video. We're not sure yet though because <coughs> Oh, she, she is only young. But I'm going to get off my butt in a minute and get some motivation going. I just don't know what to do.
We decided to change this little one into a baby girl. Didn't we? Yeah, because she had her dinner and it went all over, as you can see, it's all over me as well. I just ended up giving her a jar of what I found in the cupboard. I think it was country bed and chicken. She had that. She's getting tired. And I wasn't going to go and set her down because um, <laughs> I'll go back and lay in bed. <laughs> and i got to try and organise things before this baby comes. i got so much to do. i got birthdays coming up. I've got Christmas, oh, got Christmas coming up. And I just got other little bits in between coming up. So I'll get organised. I just I just really not I need to like shake shake myself out of this and be proactive. Yeah. Wanna get your daddy I'll get her daddy to get her sleeping in a minute. Look how tiny these little nappies are. Uh, I'll show you in comparison to Esme's nappies in a minute. Oh they're so tiny. I have actually been proactive. I've just got <coughs> the car seat uh, covered. I'm washing the chest pads, the head hugger. I'm washing my hospital bag. Baby's bag didn't need to be washed because obviously it's a changing bag and obviously I use it quite regular. Um, I've got a couple of the baby's brand new baby grooves. Um, Esme has these baby grooves as well, so you've mostly seen them before. And I got a couple of baby grooves to do, put in there. I need to, it's just that I know if I, I thought to myself I didn't do it now, I'm never going to get it done, and I just need it all done now. <laughs> I don't know if it's a nesting period kicking in or whatever, but I'm going to show you the size difference in nappies. Two seconds. That's me's nappy, and that's the new Pampers Pure range. And this is just the bog standard Pampers newborn, new baby. Range. These nappies are actually from Esme's from when Esme was born. Obviously, I've just found them in the cupboard because I know that they've, the nappies have changed now. But these are actually, like I said, they were from Esme. Um, they are a size one, as you can see, and Esme's is a size. If it's picking it up, size four. But I've got eight nappies. I find it. That sorry, I just got. Um, I find I got eight. I find eight of Esme's nappies that she didn't wear. I've also got a full bag of size two nappies. That was Esme's and one that I've had given to me, but I'm not obviously going to be taking size two because obviously the baby's going to be newborn. <coughs> um, so I'm going to pack that in the bag now. And then once I've got all my bits Saturday for my bag, I'll show you what I put what in my bag and what's in the baby's bag. The roll, that's closed, that's so obviously going to be washed and put away. That was Esme's. I've got another pole there, a pole there that I want to put in my hospital bag, but I've obviously said I've got what, like, so it's got to be washed. I was not taking a dress, um, but I can't believe like Esme should fit into these little tiny clothes. Guys, okay, small they are, but I'm definitely on. I'm the definitely board. on board right now. I'm like I think, um, like I said earlier, that my bag's obviously in the wash. Um, I've just packed eight nappies in my bag and um, two baby grows. I need to wash. I need to get. <laughs> sort of pole of baby grooves and vests that I'm taking into hospital. I was gonna buy <coughs> new, like some new baby grooves to go in hospital with, but I've already got two new ones in there, and like all of Esme's is in pretty much good condition. So there's no stains or nothing on them, so I'm just gonna wash them, dry them tonight, and then put that in. And then I just got to get a couple more bits on Saturday, and then I just got to do my like underwear and things and pajamas, and then. All my essentials that I take in hospital with me, but, but part of me <laughs> because I know I've got to stay in hospital. Obviously, I'll be, I'll pa I pack a little bit more than what I should. I might not get round to. I've got a grey hair. I might not get round to using most of it, but obviously I'll show you what my essential, what I find is my essentials and things on Saturday. So that's gonna be I'll have them on Saturday for you. Um, <coughs> I got to do some tea in a minute. I need to go and wash the car seat. I've got like the head, the head thing and the chest pads in the wash, but I'm not actually washing the cover. I'm just gonna <coughs> dump that down with a sponge and some soapy water, and then just um, get some what do you call it fabric conditioner in a spray bottle with a bit of water, and then just make sure it's all fresh in there for the baby because obviously like this. Esme's used that car seat once and that's when she came out of hospital and then obviously I had her other car seat with her travel system what I used obviously with her travel system which I've no longer got 
But Esme's too big for that car seat, <coughs> car seat anyway. Family, I just missed that. Esme literally just pulled herself up. And I literally just missed it because I was filming so much. So I've been quite busy since I've obviously filmed the video. Oh, look at her. She's getting big. I can't believe it. My baby girl's running stand up. She's quite impressed. Matt's like, it makes like the kitchen. Making a cup of tea. <laughs> so that's Esme's seat now. It took a little bit longer than I expected. Obviously, I've got baby clothes washed. That needs to be dried and put away. Well, not just baby clothes, but that's... Some of my clothes, parts of the car seat, and my bag's dry, my hospital bag's dry, and like, my hospital bag's dry, um, and, um, so yeah, I've been quite busy this, like, tonight, but obviously by doing all that, so I know I haven't really filmed much, so I'm going to end the vlog here and get some soup myself, because I was up earlier with May. so if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn your notifications on, and I'll see you tomorrow on my next day vlog, good night guys, and thanks for watching.